Hello and welcome to my latest What Sold video. Uh, this is for the week of May 28th through June 3rd of 2020. Uh, welcome again. My name is Trisha and I am an online reseller and I'm going to be going through my sales on eBay, Poshmark, and ThreadUp. And my store name is Sandy and Auto. And uh, I had I have had 23 sales this week on the three platforms. Uh, my sales were up 10% over the previous week. And uh, okay, um, <laughs> nothing else. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> had something else on my brain but nothing nothing else for this so um the only thing I will say is I'm going to start with Poshmark and interestingly I had no clothing sales on Poshmark for this week um but I did have six sales uh and uh the first item that sold this was a FabFitFun item that I just did not see myself using and um, nobody else uh, could I find really that would have a use for it. Um, so I did go ahead and sell these. And I did um, sell them for a best offer of $16. And if you're not familiar, these are um, packing cubes, which just make um, it easier. You fit clothing inside of them and then fit them into your suitcase. And I guess things stay neater organized um, for when they're in your suitcase. I'm not really going to travel anywhere for a while, not even um, around my local area. So um, those are off to a good home. Next item is this really fun glass swirled uh, vase. It was eight inches tall and I took pictures of the various sides of it to get an example of how the swirls went around and the colors um, kind of went together. It did have um, a couple spots and I did take a picture of them right here. It did have these two little spots on the inside, um, but it was a really nice piece. And I did sell this for a best offer of $10. And I sold another vase, um, different person, um, but this one was a Fenton avocado green hobnail because it has the little bumps on it, bud vase, um, really pretty design. And there's a close-up of the little hobnail uh, part of it. And these, uh, this is also sold for a best offer of $10. This was, I think, another FabFitFun item. And I already have a salt and pepper grinder that I use and am happy with. Um, so I did not need this one. Um, I did note in here that the salt and pepper were not included on this, um, but I sold this for a best offer of $10. And the last two items I sold on Poshmark were part of a bundle. And so this was a um, brass frame uh, you can see here, and this was from England. Um, that was nice. I did that upside down, <laughs> but you can still read it. Um, and it was this really nice kind of Victorian family, um, I guess, outside at a market, maybe. Um, cute little dog there. Um, this was quite small. You can see that the artwork was only three... Um, almost three and a half inches by three and a half inches. So this was quite small, um, but still a very striking piece and a really fun addition to like a gallery wall. And the other item I sold with it was this very interesting um, art print that I picked up. Um, 
it again was quite small. The uh, frame was seven and a half by six, but it did have this kind of 3D effect where these buildings were built up a bit um, to have some depth to the picture. Um, and I tried to take a picture, but boy, it was really hard to figure out how to take a picture to show that this part was kind of popping out of the frame a bit, not extreme, but a bit. Um, and this was Prague. And in the back here, it does have a little stamp down here um, that did show that it was Prague and that it was, I think this might have been the name of the town and the artist. I'm not sure, but it was stamped all on the back. And those two items were a bundle that sold for $23 together. And those, um, I did offer a shipping discount on those of $2.12. And I did forget to mention that on the packing cubes also, um, I sent out an offer and did um, give a $2.12 um, shipping discount on that on that and those were my Poshmark sales um, so again very interesting that um, no clothing items were sold but people are still um, in Poshmark shopping the um, home categories a lot and on to eBay um, where I sold this little um, figurine little girl um, she was not marked on the bottom, but I would imagine she was probably from Taiwan. Um, and she did have, um, she had a couple dark spots. I don't know if they were on the bottom. Um, I don't remember where else she did. Oh, maybe on her feet there. Um, but I did take lots of pictures around um, to give a good indication of what she looked like. And she sold, um, I believe I sent out an offer to Likers on this one, and she sold for $6.74. And on all of my eBay items, the buyer pays shipping, except for one item. Um, and I will mention that when I get to it. And on my eBay listings also, I had 11 eBay sales, and I do um, list all of these with a 2% promoted so that they show as sponsored uh, in eBay when people are doing searches. And five of the 11 items sold through the um, promoted listing to which I then paid 2% of the final um, selling price in order to have them um, show more predominantly in the search. Um, and that 2% can be adjusted, but I, I started with 2% and I've kind of just stuck with 2% um, because I, I feel the results are good with that. Next item I sold are these Cat's Paw uh, Women's Boots Size 8. Um, they were in really good condition except for, and here it actually looks worse in the picture than it does in person, that they had these little scratches on them. But otherwise, um, the soles were in good shape. Um, they do say cat's paw on the bottom. And um, the rest of the leather was in really good um, condition except for that one little bit on the um on the the foot and you can see in this picture you can hardly even see um, that the the lines are right there um, so these were a really really good pair and they sold for they did sell for $29.99 on my I was having a 25% off sale at the time and so those did sell for $29.99 uh, next up was this, it's a partial set, partial tea set of a child's, um, child's tea set uh, that was made in Japan. It had two plates 
a creamer, a sugar, and the teapot. Now the creamer you can see here along the edge um, did have a, few, a couple chips. Uh, probably three or four chips which I did disclose in there and took um, lots of pictures showing the condition showing these um, dark patches on there and then a closer up one of the um, of the chips on the creamer and those sold for a best offer of $12 and these did sell through the promo, through a promoted listing. Next up is this really cute vintage planter. Uh, works really well for a boy or a girl because it has lots of pink and blue and yellow. Um, I did mention that the front elephant ear has a dot and the D does also and again trying to take pictures um, to show any condition issues on here so that the um, buyers know exactly what they're getting so this looks like probably a manufacturers um, did that that it wasn't really a chip chip that that was original from the manufacturer and this sold for, um, I did accept a best offer of $8 on this one. And a piece of clothing. Um, so here's a dress, Royal Bones, um, all these little skulls all over it. It was, it was very cute. Um, nice mesh um, at the top, kind of a flowery star. Um, design and um, really pretty high-low um, accents on the skirt on that one and um, I believe it did have a zipper on the side of it and this one um, sold for the uh, sale price of $14.99 and this was a size small Uh, next up is another FabFitFun item. Um, I Again, another item I just wasn't going to use, so I went ahead and sold it. And it did sell for the sale price of $8.99, and it sold through a promoted listing. Um, this was an interesting one. It goes... Um, a week or two ago, I sold the companion one um, of this, um, but this is Ivanhoe. Here's a, a closer up look of it. I couldn't really find a lot of information. The other one that I sold with it was like a World War I regiment badge, and I wasn't sure. I mean, they were identical. They went together. I wasn't sure if this one was also a some kind of a World War I regiment badge. So I kept the description pretty short because I just couldn't find any additional information and just kind of waited for, I guess, the person who knew what they were looking for <laughs> to find it, and, and somebody did. Um, but it was professionally framed um, in New York, and when I saw that, I thought, well, maybe this is something interesting. So I got it kind of more so that I could do some research on it and see what it really was. Um, again, this one was really hard to find any information, but I did accept a best offer of $10.10, which together with the shipping cost made it um, an even $25, and the person was, was um, comfortable with that price, and so I accepted that offer. This is a nice set of four. Um, this is uh, Hudson Middleton, and I'll get a, a close-up here. Hudson Middleton, chintz, fine bone china, made in England. I don't really think these were too vintage. Uh, and I have seen this set also done in all white with the flowers. This just happened to be a really nice set. 
of four different colors with the flowers and they did sell um, wherever my note is here I believe I sent out an offer um, another 10% off to watchers um, so this sold for $26.99 and this did uh, also sell through a promoted listing this item now originally when I had uh, set up things in eBay and I was coming up um, on the Christmas season I did have fast and free on most of my clothing items I have since um, Christmas I thought gotten rid of all of that and added shipping costs to it except this one still did have fast and free and it may have just been that the template I was using um, still had free shipping on it but this one ended up selling I took um, a best offer of seven dollars um, with free shipping uh, pretty much broke even on this one you know you live and learn and you, you know I would have preferred to have had the buyer pay shipping on this one but that's okay this was a a very lightweight um, top it didn't weigh much um, it had some really cute details on it and uh, it was a size medium it wasn't a fancy brand so um, so it it's fine it's off to a new home and I hope that person really enjoys it and gets some good use out of it in uh, the nice summer weather that's coming up and uh, this was I believe this was vintage because it was made in Hong Kong um, it does have a, a tag which I think for some reason I forgot to take a picture of the Hong Kong tag on it but this was reversible one uh, side was uh, these nice white beads and um, when you flipped it over it was multi colored so then the white beads are on the inside it was very clean um, I don't think this really had been used too much and this one oh gosh where are my notes because I do honestly don't remember how much I know I got an offer I got an offer of $13.50 on this one um, and it threw a promoted listing and I just went ahead and accepted it I would have preferred to have gotten a little more because of um, the really good condition that it was in but um, but I'm rest assured that the person I'm sure is going to absolutely love this because it, it was really really pretty and uh, it's off to a better home uh, this one was interesting because I bought this at a thrift store and did not see that there was a flaw on it which I try to in this particular case because it's um, something that you really can't hide uh, on here even though it wasn't noticeable because it's in the flowy part of the skirt um, what it it is is right here you can kind of see it there is a light patch in the blue like something got spilled on the skirt um, here's a closer up picture of it and um, in here it it just um, unfortunately yeah there's this light patch in there and what makes it worse is that it is like right here in the middle so it's kind of hard to hide it um, hopefully the person who bought this will either have a use for it doesn't mind that it it's doing that will reuse it into something else um, but I did sell this for $14.99 and this did sell through a promoted listing and when I have something that has a, such a blatant flaw in it I'm much more comfortable putting that actually in the title um, just so the person knows when they're clicking on this and looking at this listing there is going to be a flaw in this item um, and I just want to make sure that they are aware of it and those were my eBay sales and now on to my thread up sales 
Uh, this is a one world uh, kimono, they call it. Kind of a cardigan type, um, open cardigan sweater. Um, this is a brand I will not be sending to ThreadUp anymore because it does not have a high enough retail cost. Um, $36, I believe. I'm not, I, I'll have to go back and look. Uh, I wasn't sure if $26.99 was as high as I could go. Uh, it was usually 80% of the retail, but it did sell for $26.99, of which I um, only received $4 on this one. So this is one of my, um, again, learning experiences. And this brand, though, um, I will definitely be selling on eBay or Poshmark if I um, have any more of those. Um, this one is another one. Um, it's by Ishiu. I believe that just, um, I'm going to say it wrong again, Ishiu items have a much higher retail value than this It's Buy, and the It's Buy it came in much lower, $18. Um, so again, that was disappointing. Sold for $13.99, and I only received $1.18. Again, this is a, a live and learn, and this is a brand that I won't be sending um, back in. And on both of those items, now what I know, um, I should have gone ahead and um, reclaimed those items in like at, when I have a batch that I'm reclaiming um, because they've sold through and didn't sell and I want those items back to either sell myself or send back into thread up, um, I should have reclaimed both of these items at the time so that um, I could have sold them myself instead of having them go through the process again. Things you learn um, as as I go through my thread up journey. I'm documenting everything um, that I can, and as soon as I have another um, kit that has gone through the entire cycle, I will do another um, thread up video and go over um, the sales, the the not sales, and just kind of talk about each of the items that I sent in. Uh, this was a really nice um, Calvin Klein jacket, a uh, zip front. It was a size 22. Um, it was fairly popular, had 13 likes. Uh, it sold for $86.99, and I received $36.33 for this item. Um, it did sell for 20% off, so the person who bought it only paid $69.59 for this item. Um, I'm very happy with $36 for this item. Again, one of the reasons why I like sending to thread up is I don't have to photograph it. I don't have to list it. I don't have to store it. I don't have to ship it. I send it in and I get $36. Um, so I'm very happy with that one. Next up is this torrid dress, really pretty summer dress. This was a size one. Um, again, 13 favorites, so it was um, fairly popular. It sold for uh, $49.99, and I received $15 from uh, the sale of this item. Uh, next up are these Chico's. This is a size 2 in Chico's. Uh, they sold for uh, $67.99 on the ThreadUp website. I received $27.74, which I think is right in line, you know, and maybe even more than what I would have gotten by the time you take taxes and fees, uh, or um, <laughs> not taxes, by the time you take final value um, PayPal or Poshmark fees out um, to then received $27.74. I think that's a little high um, even for selling on those platforms. I would have had to have sold what in the $35 um, plus 
dollar range and so um, I, I think I did good on these and my last item that I'm going to show is my uh, best sale of the week uh, these were a size large Eileen Fisher casual pants black and they uh, did sell for $117.99 on the ThreadUp website. I received $75.05, um, which I definitely think is way more than I would have received for a pair of black pants um, on eBay or Poshmark. So um, I'm considering that a definite win uh, for ThreadUp. So those were my sales. Let's go through the numbers real quick. Um, again, I had 23 sales, which is, a, um, and my sales amount was, I'm going to do this in a little different order. My sales were $381.59, which is up 10% over the previous week. My cost of goods was $51.75, and my fees for, um, Poshmark, the eBay, the PayPal, the um, shipping discounts that I gave, the free shipping on the one top ended up being $65 even and my profit was $284.66. Um, so those are the numbers and um, thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those behind and appreciate a like um, for this video if you enjoyed it and if you have not subscribed to my channel because I am still very early in the process and growing this channel um, and it, but if you enjoy what sold videos and I'm also going to be continuing my thread up series again um, as soon as more of my kits come to a close or I have new items and new stuff to talk about. Um, I have been sending in some kits to thread up. So as soon as those go live, um, I will be putting out some more of the thread up videos. But if you're interested in any other content um, that I can um, provide, please feel free to comment on that. And thank you for your time. Um, stay safe uh, while you're out there enjoying the summer. And I will talk to you next time.